Yes, indeed, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's Jay Jordan here. And I just got back from Barclays Center, a long afternoon at Barclays Center, where I watched the New York Liberty season finale against the Washington Mystics, a game in which the Liberty lost 90 to 88 at the buzzer. At the time you guys are probably watching this video, it's the morning after. Got home pretty late, but I wanted to record this so you guys could have it first thing in the morning. And I wanted to record it while everything was fresh on my mind from the game. Um, it was a back and forth game the whole time. Um, the Mystics took a big lead going in um in the fourth quarter. They were up by as much as twelve. Um, but the Liberty fought back in the last four minutes of the game to tie it with 0.5 seconds to go, and we just couldn't hold on. We gave up an alley-oop alley jumper from the foul line to Brittany Sykes, and she hit a tough shot. It was a great play design, and she hit the shot. Um, the Mystics end the season with a 19-21 and 21 record. Um, they are locked into the seventh seed. The Liberty uh, finished the season with a 32-8 and eight record. They finished as the two seed. So these two teams will be facing each other for the first round of the playoffs, the first round is a best of three, and this series starts on Friday the 15th, so be on the lookout for that. As usual, guys, in these videos, we're going to look at the quarters, going to look at the box score and team stats, some press conference reaction, and give my thoughts at the end. So if you do like this content, make sure you leave a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, um, join the community. A lot of Liberty fans, but we also have a lot of W fans because I, I don't shy away from talking about any team or doing watch-alongs of any other games. And make sure you hit that noti bell so you get notified whenever I post content or I'm going live. Salute. So we'll start off with the starting lineups for both teams. Um, The Liberty went with their usual starting lineup with Courtney Vandersloot, Sabrina Ionescu, um, Benajah Laney, Brianna Stewart, and John Quell Jones. Um, the Mystics went with um, their lineup they've been using since Shakira Austin, their starting center, has been hurt. They've been going with Natasha Cloud, Ariel Atkins, Brittany Sykes, Elena Deldon, and Maisha Hines Allen. Um, for us, we have our usual bench. Um, I'll touch on Han Shu at the end. She was a surprise no show on the bench. Um, so. During the game, everybody was confused why she wasn't there, um, but it came out that she went back to China. But we'll talk about that in the press conference reaction because Sandy Brondello did mention it. Um. Okay, so the first quarter, the Liberty were actually up 25 to 23 at the end. It was a back and forth quarter. Teams would get probably a three to five point lead. The other team would come back. Um. Sabrina was playing well. Um, but Nyja and John Qual were playing while well. John Qual came out really aggressive, was taking advantage of her of her mismatch, of her advent um yeah, taking advantage of her um her miss mismatches and taking of her matchup. That's what I'm trying to say. She was taking advantage of her matchup and she um finished the quarter pretty strongly. Um but the first and second quarter were just alike in that regard. Teams were just fighting each other. A team would go up by three to five points, then the other team would come back and take the lead. And it was just going back and forth, back and forth that whole quarter, which is why it ended tied at 50 to 50 at halftime. So nobody really had a clear advantage at the half. Um, but um, during the third quarter, I think the Mystics got up to like a 12 point lead in the in the third quarter at one point. But the Liberty fought back towards the end to make it a four-point game. Um, Stewie wasn't having a good game at all. She was struggling shooting. Um, the defense was getting to her. Um, we did have a fair amount of turnovers. We were fouling a lot, a lot as well. So they were going to the line. We just didn't look really into it for some reason. I don't know if it, it was probably because of their defensive intensity. They were really pressuring us on the ball making us shoot a lot of jump shots. I think that's what their defense is catered towards, having us shoot a lot of jumpers. And today they just weren't falling as they were the other day when we were hitting everything. Um, The fourth quarter, I, personally, I thought the game was over. They won up by 10 points. 
um, 12 points as well, again, and then they, like four and a half to go, they were still up by double digits. And then Sabrina ends up getting a, um, getting fouled, got a flagrant um, foul penalty one. So she hits both free throws. And that was the catalyst to us going like a 14 to four run to end the quarter. And we came all the way back to tie the game with about 21 seconds to go. Washington had the possession. Um, we got a nice defensive stop. Stewie recovered to block Brittany Sykes shot with 0.5 seconds left on the clock. Both teams called timeouts back to back to try and throw the other team off. But Brittany Sykes comes off a nice curl. Um, we thought the ball was going to Elena. Brittany Sykes gets the lob from Natasha Cloud at the foul line. She just out jumps everybody, out jumps Stewie in particular, catches it and just shoots it at the basket, drops right in, and they walk off, win the game, 90 to 88. Um, they outscored us 21 to 17 in the third. Um, we outscored them 21 to 19 in the fourth, but um, we still end up losing the game, unfortunately. Tough game. Um, it sucks because we we came all the way back and to lose at the at the buzzer was heartbreaking. Um, at that point in time, we still had a chance to accomplish the one seed. Um, we needed the Aces to lose and us to win. Um, the Lynx already had lost, so that was one of the the three criteria that we needed in order to try and steal that one seed. But the Aces ended up demolishing the Mercury later that later that day so it really didn't matter in the end so um we're just locked in at the two and washington locked in at the seven and that is the matchup for us for the playoffs um we're going to take a look at the the box score and the team stats so we can get a look at um what really um so um hope you guys can see that um we'll take a look at washington to start Elena Deladon, 24 minutes, didn't have a really particularly good game. 11 points, 4 assists, 3 rebounds on 3 of 6 shooting. Um, not superstar numbers, um, but she did enough. Maisha Hines-Allen, 6 points, 3 assists, 3 rebounds. She did have 4 fouls. Natasha Cloud played 30 minutes, had 17 points, 5 assists, 6 rebounds. I do notice that the Mystics, they like to, their guards crash the boards a lot against us. Um, we tend not to be boxing out, um, so we need to look at Philbin and sort of correct that. Brittany Sykes was the player of the game for them. Of course, besides hitting the, the game winner, she had 20 points, 6 assists, 7 rebounds. Um, she felt like she was getting to that mid-range at will. Um, we couldn't really stop her. Our defensive plan, we, we try to, um, off the pick and roll, we try to have our big hedge on the ball handler or trap the ball handler but they're quick passing out of that trap and getting they were getting wide open layups at the rim whether it was queen Egbo or del don or maisha heinz allen um it was it was pretty hard to watch ariel atkins 22 minutes 11 points for four steals for ariel atkins oh for two from three um their bench tiana hawkins five points queen Egbo off the bench six points shatori walker kimbro six points and Lee Mong, eight points. So their bench really contributed. Their bench gave them 25 points. Um, for the Liberty, Benigel Laney played 30 minutes, had 13 points. Um, Stewie had a bad game, nine points, six rebounds, two assists for her standards. I think this game might have just lost the MVP for her. Um, four for 17, nine points. And Asia Wilson had uh, a 30 piece. So. I might have lost the MVP for her, but we'll see. John Cole Jones, 19 points and 9 rebounds. Very good for her. If we can get to that more and Stewie comes along for 15, um, we'll be fine. Um, Vandersloot, 9 points, 4 assists. Um, didn't have a strong assist game, and the shooting wasn't really there. She was 3 for 11. Um, Sabrina Ionescu, 20 points, 7 assists, 7 rebounds. Um, she did her thing in 31 minutes um kayla thornton um 15 minutes gave us no points but had five rebounds and a steal and a block um steph dolson has seven points four rebounds which is good and marine johannes had 11 points off the bench with three assists on three or six shooting um Sabali and jocelyn didn't play and as you see Han Shu 
overseas, which we'll touch on. Um, looking at the team stats, Mystic shot 50% from the field. Liberty shot 40.5%. Mystic shot 36.4% from three. The Liberty shot 32.4%. Um, Liberty hit all of their free throws, which is a surprise. 100%, 16 for 16. Um, the Mystics went 16 for 19, 84.2%. On the boards, um, we had 32. They had 32 rebounds to Mystics. The Liberty had 36, so we beat them on the boards. Um, in the assist category, they had 21. We had 19, so they beat us there. Um, they had six steals to our five steals, three blocks to our two blocks. Um, we had 10 turnovers to their eight, and they had f 15 fouls. We had 14, so it was called like fairly even in the end, um, which is why the final score is as close as it is. So that's, that was the box score and the team stats. As you can see, um, Stewie didn't have a good game. Um, if she shoots a little bit better, we probably win that game, but um, we could say the same for them. Elena Deladon had 11 points. So if she, even, if she's more aggressive, they probably win that game. Their bench, um, definitely did damage. Um, they had 25 from their bench. We only had 18. Um, so that's something to keep an eye on with um, the playoffs coming up. Um, let's take a look at the press conference reaction. I was looking at Miles Page earlier in the day um, as I was on the way home. And just wanted to touch on some things that we can see here. So... Um, the first I noticed that Han wasn't playing when he mentioned the official box score says Han Shu was not with the team due to an overseas commitment. And he said, we'll get more information on that shortly from coach Brondello. Right. So then we go here and it says, um, Sandy Brondello says, quote, it's something I only found out pregame end quote. Um, quote, she said she has to go back to China to start preparing for, in brackets, a championship in Asia, just a miscommunication from the agent, I guess, end quote. So everybody sort of confused there as to Han Shu was with us, and then all of a sudden she wasn't with us. So, I mean, honestly, we weren't really playing her, so I guess the agent was like, well, if you're not going to play her, let her go get some minutes and get keeping game shape for the the championship in, in Asia. So... Um, we'll see what happens with that situation. I'll try and keep everyone updated with that. Um, John Quill Jones says, quote, our toughness is the heart and soul of the team, not to sound cliche, but our togetherness as well. When we're locked in, we're a different team. We have a very special group, and I'm very excited about what we're going to do in the playoffs, end quote. It's good to see that they were still in high spirits. Um, John Quill Jones says, despite losing at the boat, um, John Quill Jones says, despite losing at the buzzer, the crowd fueled the comeback effort. Quote, our fans have been great the entire season, so having them loud there is amazing. Anytime we get them involved and engaged in the right style of the game, you can feel it out there. Which is true. The, the play started going crazy when we were making our comeback. Uh, we just fell a little bit short there. Um, John Quill Jones on the 19-9 and nine effort this afternoon. She says, quote, my mindset was to treat it like a playoff game today. And just use that to propel me forward. End quote. Um, in other news, uh, Courtney Vandersloot finished the 2023 season with 8.1 assists. So she led, um, led the league in assists per game this season. Her seventh time doing it. All right. My thoughts. This section is going to be mixed with my thoughts plus... Um, the event that happened after the game, which is why <laughs> this video is coming so late. Uh, my thoughts are, I mean, it would be, it would have been nice to win that game to send a message to the mystics. Like, Hey, you can't come on our home court and beat us like that. But it is what it is. We have about four, four days, five days to look at the film and prepare for Friday. Um, but I would have preferred to win this game. It just sucks that we came all the way back and they won at the buzzer like that. But in the grand scheme of things, they were going to be locked in at the seventh seed regardless. Um, I it's 
I guess it's a it's a big challenge for us. What this Washington team is a very tough matchup. But look, if we we can accomplish the, um beating this team early in the playoffs in a three game series, then the rest of it should be um much easier in in relation. Um, still we got to play better against Washington. That's the only thing. Um, we, I don't know if it's the play calling or it's just her playing Elena, but we got to get her in better spots. She got to hit her open shot. She had a lot of open shots, but she also took a lot of rush shots as well. So we got to get her in better positions. I mean, she only had one turnover today. I remember she got stripped on the drive to the basket, but four for 17 isn't going to cut it, especially when you're taking that many shots. You got to at least hit close to half, close to half, and we win this game. But um, there's nothing we could really do there. Well, um, I want to touch on the season ticket holder event that they had after the game. Um, they had an event for all the season ticket holders, thanking the fans for supporting them throughout the whole regular season. Um, we were able to get autographs from all the players. It took a little bit because, of course, they had to shower, do their press conference, probably coach had to talk to the team. And all, and all of that. They probably had to get something to eat as well. So we were waiting for a bit. But it was worth it in the end. You can see the hat right here. I'm going to spin it around. I got play autographs from all the players in attendance. All 10 players um, besides Hanshu. Since Hanshu isn't with the team. Get that back on straight. So I got an autograph from all the players. Which was a great. I was able to speak to all of them. Wish them luck in the playoffs. And it was great to just see the players up close. And they really sat there the whole time and autographed hundreds, hundreds of autographs um, for the fans. Then they were led us upstairs uh, into the the main area. And we were able to um, take a picture with the Commissioner's Cup banner. They actually raised the banner earlier in the, I think, right before the game. I came to the game probably midway through the first, um, started the second. So they lowered down the banner so we were able to go and take pictures with the commissioner's cup banner they had the commissioner's cup trophy in the in like the the hallways of the arena um we were able to take pictures with that as well i'll probably put all these pictures up um on the screen somewhere and then they gave us food and we were able to meet some of the the ex not ex the liberty uh loyals i guess they can call them the the, the players in the liberty ring of honor um, so the Teresa Witherspoon, Sue, Sue Wicks, Swing Cash, um, Kim Hampton, we were able to meet a lot of the legends. It was cool to see them just walking around the arena supporting the, the new version of the team. Yeah. And they had a bunch of other events. They had a DJ playing music and things of that nature, but it was cool to, um, see how the team was given back to the fans that supported throughout the whole season and encouraged us, of course, to come to the playoff game and, definitely in my playoff ticket to locked in so i am ready for the second season everybody's back at zero zero and it's time for the real season to begin this is what we've all been waiting for so i'm ready to get on that road all right guys thanks for tuning into this video um i will be back probably tomorrow if you're watching this on monday september 11th i'll probably be back on later today with a live stream We'll talk about the playoff matchup. Um, talk about all the playoff matchups, actually. We'll focus on some of the Liberty, but their game is on Friday, so we have some time. And then I'll give you a sneak peek into what I have in store for the playoffs in terms of streaming and content. As usual, guys, make sure you like this video. Hit, hit the subscribe button. Hit that noti bell so you get notified whenever I schedule streams. Let's well, root for our Liberty to do well in the playoffs. Playoffs start on Wednesday the 13th, I think that is. Wednesday the 13th, the Aces play that day. Um, the Connecticut Sun play that day. So we have something in store. Wink, wink. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Salute.